What's going on guys? Welcome to the Final Fantasy Rivers Access video and I sprained my wrist or forearm, whatever you want to call it. So I'm just gonna let that chill uh, and just not worry about the camera all that much. So let's talk about Vayne and also New Vision Vaughn. Not New Vision Awakened Vaughn, unfortunately. So Vayne's S tumor is only good for him, literally. Which is kind of weird because usually they make a pretty good S teamer out of, of the three and four star ones, but this time it's just for himself. It gives him a lot of stats because it makes up for him, you know, being a four star originally with having kind of mediocre passives. During the time is bolting strike chain, so if you need that for something, it's okay. He has machine, reaper, fairy, and also human killers. He has 500% cap, 200%, 250% low first damage. It has, uh, and his SLB, because his LB is not even worth mentioning. 200 times versus fairies, so that was only one time versus anything else. 160 times physical damage, also 87% attack and magic break, 13, and also one more hit after that. So 14 hits in total, but one is backloaded. He has the Spellga, and a bunch of other, you know, weaker magic and stuff like that. And also a 300% attack buff and 150% alone first damage buff for all allies. Awaken plus two, of course. So I thought that was pretty interesting, at least to mention. And his magic side really isn't worth mentioning at all. He has also has like a crit that you can do something. I mean, it's a normal attack, I think. Or no, it's an unlock ability. Never mind, it's an unlock ability. So you could triple cast it. But it's only like, if you do all of the mods and everything, it's only like 1,400 something times. So is that really that amazing compared to a lone first? I'm not sure. But he's decent. I'll give him a 7.5. Decent. Nothing really, you know, nothing really bad about him. It's just like, I, I knew that he would be like, he can do a lot of things, but he can't really do anything really that well. So... Especially his LB is kind of weird chaining or weird uh, frames, like weird uh, hits. So I'm not sure if that's like a finisher or a chain. I'm not sure. But, but anyways, let's move to Vaughn. He has a cooldown. We have to awaken up to plus two for some reason. 160% fire and peril. Two stacks of evasion. On top of that, and he has a 30 times mod boost on a cooldown for Brave Shift LB or. For his SLB and also a regular LB. Not sure why there's a 50% chance of doing the both of the same thing. If there's a cooldown where it's 50% chance to do one thing and 50% chance to do the other thing and they both do the same thing. So why is it why is it why is it built like that? I don't know. He has human, beast, avian, dragon, and machine killer, and also if you equip a mace, you get stone killer. So I'm, I don't really I don't really don't understand the mace thing, I guess. It's part, a part of the game he's from, he probably, probably uses maces, but every time I've seen an Upper Omni, for example, he uses a sword. So, I don't, I don't, maybe, he, maybe he can use different weapons. Um, not really sure if it's worth equipping a mace just for 200, I mean, it's 200% stone killer, but you gotta equip a mace. And he, he does get some attack when you equip a sword, I guess. He has 500% cap, 30% evasion, also 45% targeting chance, I like that because even though it's not it's not 50 percent chance so you have a chance of not you know targeting him or if you don't want him to but you can easily build him for 100 percent evasion 100 percent targeting chance nowadays normal tech has uh 85 percent full break so there's always that desperate time where you need a break this could be the time the lb 87 percent spirit 88 percent defense break 145 percent human killer full all allies 145 percent fire and peril decent and 27 hits, 150 times fire physical damage, so it's okay. Not really that powerful, but it's just for the breaks. The SLB, attack and magic break, 85%. And 87% spirit break, and also 89% defense break, so sadly, we're not going any higher than that. We're only going up to Locke's uh, break that was uh, crowned, and on global, of course, his Locks is gonna be higher still because it's 90% I believe 160% human killer buff for our allies 160 160% fire and peril 250 times fire physical damage 27 hits I knew that he was gonna be fire emperor I called it in the news video 
He is literally Fire Emperor with physical damage instead and a few other things that he can do instead. So it's really weird that his TMR is actually better than his S TMR because it gives him a lot of stats. 500 flat attack and on top of that it gives him 50% little burst damage and on top of that it gives him 100% TDH. So there's no reason not to equip his TMR. You need this TMR at all times to so get those stats and also no 90% defense break. Sad. Other than that he's just Fire Emperor which isn't bad just but it's still copy and pasted. So with that being said I was already pretty much set in giving him a 9 out of 10 because 160% Fire Imperial guys I mean that's not that's no joke and we know by now that is he's probably gonna be required for something in the in, in terms of the 12 12 man takedown or whatever it was called 12 types takedown I'm sure he'll be needed for something in that regard or in the future or in Dark Visions for example so a very good unit 9 out of 10 for sure for Vaughn so that's it guys thank you guys very much for watching I want to get out of here so appreciate you watching love you guys if you want to help support the channel Make sure you click on that join button or visit my Ko-Fi link. Thank you guys very much for watching again. Appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.